What's up, what's up? Hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, Sunday, the 15th of May. Okay, okay. Of course, time is fluid, so when you find it, you find it. Um, please like, share, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed my content. But I just want to get a quick little read before I go and start organizing some things for my Patreon. I got some new ideas that are coming to life this week. Mm -hmm. So, let's see what we got, all right? We got, ooh, privileged lady. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what reading we get today. All right, well, we'll start off like that. How about that? Journey. Somebody's journeying, probably this privileged lady. Yeah, yeah, me. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, wow. Interesting. Looks like. Oh, man. Oh, man. False person, the bottom of the deck. <sighs> Before we get to the journey, I just want to get to the false person, and there's concern under that. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's uh, clarify this false person, and then I can calm down and. I believe the three of pentacles wanted to come out as well. Maybe there's some secret uh, emotional connection or contract. Or maybe you're regretful over not having the opportunity to work with somebody who actually turned out to be your false person. You may be watching this person online and had to call judgment on the person. Let's figure out why you had to call it. Yeah, you definitely. And it was actually justice. Let's get some more. Yeah, you brought justice to yourself. Balance out the scales. There was juggling. They had you waiting, feeling as if they were your divine counterpart. But you walked away and you were victorious. Very good. Anything else we need to know? And that's the truth on that. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's see what this is. Just to clarify. Cool. Okay, so you are still discerning to the energy and your guard is up from the energy. There was a choice in love. You surrendered it to the divine. Very good. We don't have to worry about the false person at the bottom of the deck. I just wanted to make sure I didn't need to. I am a panicky person. I am a person. I'm a very panicky person. A very, very panicky person. All right, so now that I can relax, what's this journey about? I really don't like seeing that false person at the bottom of the deck. Oh, there we go. One more time, one more time, baby. Ooh, Temperance Angel. Okay, so everything is balanced and calm. It looks like we are journeying out. This is freaking me out. This is making me feel like the devil is watching me, the devil card. Don't like that card either, so. Devil card, three of swords, ten of swords, eh, eh, over there. Okay, so for this journey, let's break it down and see what we get. All right, so there's some sort of communication going on. Quick energy of more than likely it's just travel, you know. Everything around you is moving really fast. Plans, getting organized, figuring out what the heck is going on at the moment. I feel you. All right, what is this? Hmm. Something of the past, a possible past, uh, no idea, honestly, no idea. Alrighty, there's an idea, there's an idea. Somebody from your past would like to come in nice and smoothly, you know, come back home, see what's going on with you over here, You're looking rather good, feeling, but shh, don't tell anyone, it's a secret. You probably feel it in the, in the energy around you with this eight of wands and all the travel, all the movement going on in your life. I'm sure you feel this past energy creeping up on you. Uh, anything else we need for this one? False person. Toxic. Not good. All right. So...
this is just not a good combination so maybe they're like a dark witch or something they practice on the dark side possibly and they're trying to come to you ten of pentacles This needs to be looked into. I'm not sure when or where, but this needs to be looked into. We will be looking into that. I am not satisfied with that whatsoever. All right, can I get some more on the Six of Swords, please, Spirit? For a partnership. King of Wands coming forward, taking action. Uh, again, with all this over here, posing as an emperor. coming to make a judgment all right okay cool all right okay no we can't move further we cannot move further we cannot move further i don't know the energies of this masculine i don't know the intentions because of that card in this combination so uh we're going to pause this here and i am going to figure out what is going on with this energy and who it is because there's some sort of decision or orchestration being had right now and i'm not too particularly comfortable or fond of this combination right here so let's put this to the side first and foremost I pray to god that this is a capricorn and not a karmic energy or cycle addict addiction or somebody practicing in the uh darker side of things so let's clear that up please the devil Capricorn. It's a Capricorn. It's a Capricorn. It's a Capricorn. All right. They're waiting. They're feeling like a wounded warrior. They're waiting for an opportunity to come in. Your back is turned to them right now. Um, they are a Capricorn. They are obsessively thinking about you. They are in your head. But why is this false person here with that combination? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is not com comforting. This is not comforting. For me personally, because I'm spiritual and, you know, it's just uncomfortable. It's rather uncomfortable. All right. That's nice. That's great. What about this high priestess? Let's see. Let's see what's going on with this high priestess. Okay, so their secret conversations and communications, they are in their emotion. It's not um, about a betrayal. Okay, so they want to bring justice to maybe how they treated you or something and they're in their head about it. And because you're not aware of it, it's coming up as um, a secret. Somebody's been defeated. Oh, I guess they had a family over there and they were walking away from that something about reap what you sow putting the energy in a desired area to get a desired outcome but they want redemption with you they want to invest in you they're praying manifesting for their queen of cups very good very good very good so my thing is uh okay something about a soulmate something about some communication that combination threw off the whole reading so i apologize to everyone um this past soulmate is your divine counterpart they were coming in quickly with some sort of travel or communication as i said they are from the past you may have uh past feelings of nostalgia or even memories or even been alive this current lifetime just in the past with this particular energy so 
what is this over here because i had to shove everything to the side so all right what is this over here so as i said they're being guided into you being guided to their soulmate to their counterpart to their other half right okay and they are moving passionately and does he look good who calm down buddy um divine orchestration is at play so um he is coming towards what is his and i believe that is you so that is the journey I'm still not understanding why this false person is at the bottom of the deck. I got over the devil, okay? Obsessive thinking, Capricorn, King of Pentacles was there to match him and to confirm many, many pentacles there. So it was a lot of earthy energy. So they got that. That's just all Capricorn written all over it. Okay. There's not even a book for me to... Uh, Oh, there's an illustration guard guidebook. There's a guidebook. I'm gonna be buying the guidebook so I can uh, know the background on this false person. But <sighs> your soulmate's coming in. Why is it so difficult? False, real, real, false, karmic, divine. Ah, you feel me? <sighs> I need more on this karmic with this false person spirit please help me with this false person uh, please help me with this okay so there's a permanent ending with this false person spirit please help me with this false person the other energy is walking away from their false person right now they're sitting back and resting and contemplating everything you know weighing out things because as i said there was a ten of cups which is a family so that's probably what's going on and also what's hindering the connection in union of you two but a true divine masculine will leave whatever situation to be with his divine counterpart not like kids but like a karmic situation or things that are unnecessary for his energy because he has a mission to fulfill so there's that that's how to tell if it's a true divine masculine or not anything else we need to know on the spirit he's in his head about celebrating and moving forward and bringing balance in this new beginning he's coming forth with an offer of admiration possibly in the nighttime i don't know why i say that but right now he's waiting for an opportunity to close out a cycle okay i was wondering where this five of pence was coming from okay and as you can see it literally landed on top of the false person so um he's waiting for an opportunity to leave this energy in the cold all right there's a permanent ending going there this is what's going on in the background uh this could be coming across as a betrayal because of the relationship and the time frame and then all of a sudden you guys meet and now he's got to go oh you know what i mean so like you know but understand this is a brand new beginning okay um spirit is there anything else that we need to know before i wrap it up he's choosing a path my dear yes he has yes he has of his emotional satisfaction anything else we need to know spirit he surrendered everything to the divine he has surrendered this to the divine He's having sleepless nights, though. He is having sleepless nights about his Queen of Cups. That's you. All right. The karmic wheel is turning. Good fortune, movement, travel. Normal people's twin flame card. My twin flame card's already out here. There's somebody in regret and remorse. Of why? Because they're balancing out a scale. That was once confusion and illusion and once left this energy feeling rather tired fatigued like a wounded warrior dude like just ready to give up and there was a romantic offer or an apology to bring balance to a situation to the past person the other energy the false person the karmic person and uh what happened with that spirit 
they're questioning illuminating um They're questioning coming forth. Um, they've been watching you in the background secretly, of course. Um, they know that there's some sort of conflict, but they are, they're, they're releasing. I believe they're releasing. They surrenders all over this. All right, yeah, so they've been watching you over here being successful, single, and there's some news coming to you. You don't see it coming, sweetheart. Of a passionate new beginning. What's that tower moment? Bow, bow, bow. Good tower though. Good tower. Anything else we need, spirit? It will be a page, a small author. Okay. All right. There, you guys are gonna be working together. Some sort of indecision going back and forth about the manifestation. What about this manifestation? Ooh, of the Empress. We gotta pay, we gotta pay, we gotta pay. Right? We could do that, right? We could do that, guys, right? The real twin flame card, huh? No, no? All right, cool. All right, so there's some indecision. He's going back and forth about his manifestation of this beautiful, beautiful energy i would say empress but that's his empress sorry i had to put the base on it for him that's how he's feeling that's how he's coming you don't see the table closing out cycles will pass people Ooh, her guard is up mm. no bueno my love all right so there's gonna be some work needed anything else we need spirit so i can wrap this up oh they are fleeing the scene to come forth with that pentacle so just wait on it you don't see it coming though to a source But this King of Cups is looking for victory and success and nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. Alrighty. Ah, I'm done. Okay, how are we done? How are we done, Spirit? Tell me we're done. Yeah, everything they were holding on to has been released. They are now fully focused on their manifestation and guarded from whatever that betrayal was. They are sneaking away in a rather calculated energy straight into the Queen of Swords to work with her, commit to her, marry her, and bring themselves justice by dropping that burden. Going on a brand new leap of faith. Something about being a spiritual teacher and creating a family, some sort of legacy. Really quickly, reaping what they sow, creating generational wealth at a toxic, ridiculously excessive amount of wealth. And making clear, clear, intellectual, conscious decisions, honest and truthful decisions for all not just for ourselves remaining strong and of course being truth and clear i don't know why i'm running through every card i apologize guys and committed to commit to the person who i walked away from and caused conflict at one point in time so i hope you enjoyed the content i hope you enjoyed this didn't expect to uh run the whole deck i usually don't run a whole deck i apologize i guess i was just in the in the vibe um it's saturday it's beautiful have a good one love and light